This is Fox News First. Welcome back. It's a movie that follows art dealer Harvey Jordan on his obsessive quest to uncover the mysteries of an ill-fated theme park designed by Disney creatives in the 60s Southern California. The director, Stephanie Hubbard, and the star of the film, Harvey Jordan, is here this morning to talk about Bible Storyland, a documentary playing at the San Antonio Film Festival. Good morning to you both. Good morning. Good morning. Well, first of all, I got to see the trailer, read up all about it. I, I need to find out why you even decided to go with the story. Like, where did you find the story? How creative. It's very, cr thank you. <laughs> I'm glad you think so. Yes. Well, Harvey um, found the images okay. and they captured his imagination and he began this quest. And after, it was about eight years that you'd been on the quest. Right, right. And then he came to me and I'm a documentarian. And uh -huh. so at that point we started working together because I could see, I mean, he wanted to talk about the Bible Storyland, right. the theme park that was never built. Right. But I could see there was a bigger story there. Well, let's talk about the bigger story. There's sure. some big names that were sure, a part definitely. of this Bible Storyland. Let's talk about that and kind of put it into context okay. for our viewers. Uh, <clears throat> first of all, uh, the head promoter of the park, Nat Weinkoff, was a vice president uh, with Disney mm -hmm. and helped build Disneyland. And Bruce Bushman, who was the uh, head designer of Bible Storyland, was an animator with Disney. And um, the president of the theme park was Jack Haley, the Tin Man from The Wizard of Oz. Right. And um, let's see, the owner of the park was Donald Duncan of Duncan Yo-Yos. He was the yo-yo king in America for four decades. So they had all gotten together and decided <coughs> they were going to open this theme park, but it just never happened. For yeah, many reasons. Yeah. <laughs> Tell us a few of those reasons. Well, you want to start, Stephanie? Well, we find actually some of the people who opposed it at the time. Hmm. And uh, what's really interesting is how the different uh, so social mores about the Bible in society uh, were different back then. 50 so, years ago. Yeah, so these guys are saying that it was sacrilegious and, and uh, no one should go. And of course, Harvey goes to visit the Holy Land experience, which, you know, is, is happening right now so we sort of explore how things changed a little bit but at the time they the the local uh, uh, clergy uh -huh. just thought it was a bad idea what I find really interesting we're gonna see some video right now of it is the fact that a documentary it's not your typical documentary no, it's got a really sweet fun vibrant mm -hmm. brilliant mm -hmm. story what made you go that direction was it that's exactly how it went well as a director I really wanted to capture the feeling of the park, which was very whimsical and fun. In fact, we think one of the reasons that the clergy didn't like it was because it was Disney creatives who were coming up with these very fun and whimsical rides. Mm -hmm. And so as I was thinking about the overall tone of the film, I really wanted to capture that. And of course, Harvey's a great subject, so it was easy. I mean, there he is singing. <laughs> right, right. And, and I just want to make the correction that was down there. It says it's playing at the Rialto tomorrow night at 8 o'clock. It's actually 7 o'clock. So I want everyone to know Rialto tomorrow night at 7 o'clock. You can see Bible Storyland. So one of the things I also want to ask you about is the fact that you are debuting it here in San Antonio. You were yes. born in San Antonio. Actually, were, I was born. You were born in San Antonio. Yes, yes. And you got the opportunity to actually actually debut it here. How does that make you feel to be a part of it and to also be in your hometown doing it? it it's wonderful. Uh, when I applied for the festival, in the back of my mind I was thinking, San Antonio, that's where I was born. That mm -hmm. would be so wonderful to show it there. And here we are, the world premiere in San Antonio. The film um, is born. Yes. Yeah. That is so nice. I'm I, excited. I, I bet you guys are. What would be the hardest uh, thing about doing this film? What, was there something that you just went, gosh, <clears throat> this is a really tough thing to do and probably the best thing you got to do with the film too? Well, I think one of the challenges about a documentary like this is that it's a, about a park that was never built. <laughs> and so what's, it became the best thing because we have dream sequences, there's animated sequences. I mean, you see in the trailer, there's Harvey's actually in the park. Right. So we really got to be imaginative. Okay. And of course, you know, Jack Haley, the Tin Man, was one of the characters, and we were really lucky enough. Harvey's a great producer, and, and he asked the guy, can we shoot in Jack Haley's house? Wow. So we were shooting in Jack Haley's house, interviewing Jack Haley's grandson, about the first time you ever saw The Wizard of Oz, right, and that's right. in the film. Wow, that is amazing, and what an incredible, you know, 
I guess historic, it's very historic to be able to go back and see that and then have the connection mm -hmm. come together mm -hmm. like that with Disney and what it was all about and him to be a part of Bible Storyland too that way. Right, well, in, right. in a sense, it's very Hollywood because sure. there's, you know, here's all these people that were in Hollywood at the time and we're really exploring that world and everything's connected to everything else. There's a lot of right. Hollywood connections. We're all connected some way, aren't we? Right. And to yeah. Hollywood too, as we see. Bible Storyland, check it out tomorrow at the Rialto. It's happening tomorrow at the Rialto at 7 7 o'clock. You want to check it out. World premiere. World premiere. And you can go check it out. Will you be there also for people to come and talk to you as yes. well? Be able to ask you even more questions because we don't have any more time to be able to ask you even more yes. questions that we want to. We'll be there and we'll stay as long as they're asking questions. <laughs> That's very nice. Well, congratulations, <laughs> thank you so by much. the way. And thank, thank you for being here. Thanks thank for having you. us. All right. And with that, we're going to go to break right here on Fox News First. Stay with us. A lot more to come.